Hey, welcome to the shop. Today we're talking about how to restart a 7018 electrode where you've used part of it up and this can have a couple of challenges. One of them, it might not start and you just strike and strike and strike and don't get anything. The second is you end up with porosity at the start of your weld um, on the restart of the rod. And I'm gonna talk about how to address both of those issues here in this video. Now, I love 7018. Not only is it great in industrial applications because of its high strength and you can get a low hydrogen weld deposit that you might need on higher strength materials when it's thick, but even on hobby work, it's just a lot easier to read the puddle and you get a really beautiful bead. And so that's what I love it for here in my garage. And when you go to strike an arc with a brand new 7018, they're manufactured with some metal coming out of the end right there. So they generally strike relatively easily. I mean, you might have a little bit of sticking like you'd have with any rod, and that's a matter of skill that I teach in some other videos. But after you weld with it, you can end up with two things. One, you can end up with some flux that comes down over uh, the end. So the metal part of the electrode is tucked up inside of this flux coating a little bit. And so then you're just rubbing the flux coating. Now the, that's a pretty easy problem to address. You just crunch it with your glove and it exposes some metal and you're good to go. Now the more uh, flux that you have coming down towards the end, the better. The bigger problem that you end up with on 7018 is because of the nature of the slag on the electrode, you can end up with slag over the end rather than flux. So when I'm talking about slag, I'm talking about where it's been uh, heated and it's hardened like a rock. Now this is much more difficult there on the end and you can go and you end up beating on the thing um, and at least that's the intuition is you just beat on it with your electrode holder on and this is really problematic because eventually you'll break through it but you might be in the wrong spot you end up with an arc strike or you end up sticking it and you have to start all over. So you gotta have that metal exposed there at the start. Now when you're beginning, um, I brought this up in several videos, you can use a file, you can use some self-adhesive back sandpaper on your bench and you take the electrode out and you just clean up the end with a file. Make sure you have that metal so that you have the best chance of success when you start. Now it's pretty inconvenient to use a file to have to clean that up every time and so a better way is just to prevent having it on there to begin with. And so you can do that when you finish your bead um, prior uh, to the one that you're restarting on by whipping out quickly. And then what you'll end up doing is flicking that little piece of slag off of the end of the electrode, leaving you with just the flux coating. And that, uh, like we talked about before, you can just crunch up with your glove and you're good to go. Now the second issue is porosity, and the porosity happens due to a lack of shielding. Now you can end up with this at the beginning because you might not have enough flux, you might have chipped off just a little bit too much. And so the way to prevent this is to strike your arc up ahead of where you're gonna begin your weld, and then get down in close while you move back. So by the time you get to the start of your actual weld bead, um, you're in position, you've melted back to your flux, and you're ready to go, and then you just burn over that little bit of uh, strike. So I slowed this down a bit for the sake of demonstration, and so I'm running over a little bit more than I normally would. You can do this a little faster than what I am here. And you might argue that you're risking a slag inclusion by running back over this, but it's a very small amount that's deposited. It's certainly not a full bead. So I think that risk is low. And if you have a better way of doing this, I'd love to know down in the comments, but this is the best way that I've found so far to avoid porosity. So I ran three examples, just flicking out, breaking the flux off like before. And you can see at the beginning of all three of these on restarted rods, I have a no uh, visible porosity at the start. So that's how I do it. So next time you're running some 7018, go ahead and whip out quickly to flick that slag off the end. Then you can crunch the flux with your glove to expose a little bit of metal to start. Then when you restart it, start up ahead a little bit to allow that metal to burn back in the center of the rod and get established with that flux activated at the start of your weld. 
and you should be able to avoid a lot of these issues. And if you are just learning some welding yourself, check out my affordable online courses linked in the description below. I walk through everything from the very beginning with absolutely no exposure to welding up through welding the four common joints and I'll get you there so much faster than you'll get uh, to on your own watching videos. And I keep them as affordable as possible with a full money back guarantee. Thanks a ton for tuning in. We'll see you next time.